I'm Rob Streeter. I'm a fly fishing author and this is the next in our steelhead tying series. This video features Jim Kelso's wingdinger and this was the craziest fly that I think I ever saw when he first came up with it. But it's an incredibly effective pattern especially when the steelhead are hitting nymphs. So here's how you tie it. So if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We're growing steadily and I really enjoy interacting with everybody. So thanks for watching. This is how you tie Jim's wing dinger. We've got a standard nymph hook. This one's a number 10. You can make this fly all the way down to number 14. Just gonna start the thread, run it down the back. and trim it off. Next thing we got is just a piece of, this is off of a zonker strip, and we're going to take some of these longer hairs. Tie those in, those are going to be the tail. down Put some wax on the thread we're going to use the rest of that rabbit just as dubbing and you could also use you know any Type of rabbit for a dubbing, black rabbit for a dubbing. So we'll get that going. Body going. Need some more. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay, so now we got the wing part. First we put in a little piece of sheet foam. We got it trimmed up. So that'll go on right there. Tie that all down. And we have a piece of holographic. Now it's not really a tinsel, but it's a strip of holographic material. And we're just going to get that so that. It butts right up against that foam. And we're just going to add a little more dubbing.
just a pinch more. And we just make the head of the fly. Whip finish, trim it up, and some head cement. Last thing I'm going to just kind of turn this over and I brush out the bottom, get some of the guard hairs out. Make it look a little leggy. And that's it. So it's got a little bit of flash and kind of looks like a small dark stone fly. Jim's wing dinger. Mm -hmm.